unbelievable green color. Good morning from Toulon, France. I just arrived, but last night I've got one really interesting situation. I was sleeping somewhere on the ground of deck four or something like that. And then a man approached me and said, excuse me, one monsieur, excuse me, one monsieur. So I woke up and asked, yes, but I don't speak any French. And he said, no, no, no. Do you speak English? I said, yes, I speak English. And he said, if you like to come and, and spend the night in our cabin, you're more than welcome. I said, well, why you don't need the cabin? He said, no, we, we, we're two people and we have cabin for four. So if you don't mind, I said, yeah, absolutely sure. So I spent the night in their cabin. Wonderful people, they helped me so much. And uh, in this moment when I was so tired and I need to ride to there like 600 kilometers, this help came from nowhere. And this guy was not even a motorcycle traveler. He was with his wife. It took me a while to get organized because I forgot to download the offline map last night and uh, got some petrol and everything but now I'm ready I can go uh, as I said I've got like almost 600 kilometers to Andorra I hope I'll be able to make it I won't have much to film today until I get into the Pyrenees but that is also fine I will preserve some battery life because I don't have much now uh, it took me like half an hour to leave the city with even few small confusions on the roundabouts with Google Maps but anyway I did it and I even got this nice road now going up and as soon as I get out of all of this madness I'm gonna stop somewhere eat something and uh, we'll after that uh, the next stop will be after at least two hours the road actually is not bad at all. It's going through small villages, it is green, it has some turns very well. The temperature is 23 degrees. Yeah, riding conditions excellent. It might rain on some stage. I hope not, but even if it's rain, that's fine. The last two hours were only highways. I got the option non-paid highways because otherwise just to cross France to one side to another it's like 100 euros and now from 20 minutes I've got this road which is which is fine going through some towns and villages and uh, yeah most of the time will be something like this or highways whatever it needs otherwise I cannot make it a little bit of fresh air or different scenes before I jump again to the highways Beautiful tunnel. This is the third village that I'm checking now in this area for something open, coffee or place to. What is this? This is shop. But there is nothing. Nothing zero. So the life here is very very different hmm. Just found one <laughs> small village with coffee And when I found it, have a look now This town with a lot of coffees And everything you need Of course, Murphy's Law Anyway, I still got 200 kilometers and I don't plan to have any more steps because the GPS said that I'll be there 7.30, I'll say 8 o'clock. I don't have much time to waste.
unbelievable green color. I got even some sun. Maybe it will rain there, but maybe not. Maybe I'll be lucky. Unfortunately, I got some traffic. A lot of cars, trucks, another one truck on the front. We'll see. I just stopped and got my rain gear on the top because even if it doesn't rain, it's going to be cold. So I don't want to stop. Then better to do it now. Here temperature dropped to 15 degrees. I have my heated grips on. Very good. Still not rain. Third time when I ride this path and always enjoy it, always. It's a beautiful place to ride because of these fantastic green views everywhere. This is a great picture. Yeah, I finally made it. Came to Andorra. Today I've got like 600 very boring kilometers. Only the last part, maybe 70, 80 kilometers. Were really worth. But anyway, sometimes I do what I got to do just to come here. I'm gonna spend the night here in Andorra. And tomorrow I have very nice plan to ride one road that was suggested to me it's a dirt road named Ruta de la Contrabandista or something like that supposed to, to mean smugglers route I'm gonna try it it is located it starts from the west part of uh, Andorra and it's located with north part of Spain on the dirt roads it's a big loop so I'm gonna try it if I'm able I'll make it if not it's not a big deal but yeah so far so good this part this place here is wonderful i've been here before but every time i'm here i enjoy it and the downhill is spectacular because there is no fog on on this side of the mountain see how clean it is Very nice, very, very nice. Here is like 50, 60, 70 cents cheaper. So I'm gonna fill it, of course, before I leave tomorrow. You wanna see? 166. The last time when I filled was 220. All right. The price was 179. 166 is gas. Anyway, still. 40 cents cheap than uh, the prices in France. Change in the weather, huh? Sunny on the other side, fog. The last time when I was here, this place was full with people, car traffic and stuff like that. Now it's like empty. Very good.
This bicycle in front of me is moving with 70 km per hour and not even speeding. Here somewhere supposed to be Hotel Siracusa. Okay, I saw the sign. Hotel Siracusa. Let me see. So I managed to find this parking. It's a public parking with barriers. So I'm gonna lock it here. Do you see cameras? The room is just fine, considering the price 25 euros for Andorra. I think it's a good bargain. Shower, all good. Everything that I need, something that I didn't notice, but anyway, it's too late now. It's going to be very noisy. But I'm so tired and I hope when I close this in the window, I will be alright. Actually, I switched the room to another face to the boulevard. Still have some noise, but it will stop on some stage. It's not like the river that will never stop also. This is on the fourth floor, so it will be all right. It's even bigger bed. The same situation with the bath. Very well. Good morning. This was the hotel. Over there my, was my room. It is seven o'clock. I'm waiting here for one Bulgarian guy who living in Spain to come at eight o'clock. So we're gonna ride together today. We're gonna try this Ruta de la Contrabandista. And then I'm gonna hit the road to Portugal. He will go home. But it's too early now. He will come at 8, it is 7 o'clock, so I'm gonna find a place to drink coffee and wait. It's going to be a busy day here in the towns of Andorra. Luckily, we're getting out. Doncho came. And he's with NC750. I hope the road will be good enough for this motorcycle to, to finish the, the task that we've got. Andorra is beautiful and it deserves itself a special attention but my goal of the trip or the, the, the goal of my trip now is Portugal so Andorra is just a place to pass two minutes later I'm on this very interesting road it is 14 degrees uh, I feel cold at the moment but that is fine later will be a different story I can survive for now I just passed the first village, the name was Os de Civis or something like this and then the road supposed to guide me now through the mountain and then go into the second village which is Civis, not uh, without the first letters, just Civis and somewhere it uh, has to be dirt road but let's see, we don't know yet Okay, there is a sign saying that groups larger than seven motorcyclists cannot go on this road but uh, we're just two and uh, I think that we should be alright but of course you never know 